In this video, I want to show you this home page starter. It's a Canvas page that's available to you in the Canvas Commons to use for a home page starter in your own course. So you don't have to use it exactly as is. You can customize this for your needs, but this is what it comes with when you import it into your course. There's a generic banner at the top of the page with some welcome information and a place to put a link to your course syllabus. There's quick links for Mesa College students. So these are links that take students to Mesa College Student Services, the helpful resources for students, the PDF that has all of the programs from Student Services at Mesa, the guides for Canvas students, as well as the video support for Canvas students, as well as the 24-7 phone number for Canvas support for students. So those all come built in on this page. There's also a section that says about your instructor where you can put your name your information, your contact information, and a bio, and even upload a picture of yourself, which is so important, especially if you're teaching an online course. So this is just, like I say, a starting point. Um, you can change this, add to it, remove elements that you don't want to use. But if you do wish to use this page, let me show you now how to import it into your course. So we go out to the Canvas Commons. In the Canvas Commons, you're going to search in the field for San Diego Mesa College. And that's going to list any resources that have been shared to the Commons with that tag. So you'll see San Diego Mesa College homepage starter. Click on that and you'll see a preview of what I was just showing you. And you'll see an import download button on the right. Go ahead and click on import download and it asks you into which course you want to import the page. Click on the course and import into course. You look, get a little green message at the top of the screen. And now we're going to go over to that course and see where to find it. So I'll go to my courses. So this is the course where I want to, instead of having students land in the modules, I want students to land on a home page. And then I can direct them into this orientation overview page, which is where I want them to actually start the course. But I want a nice visual welcoming page with some other information in order to help them on their way to finding this link. So I go to pages. That's where that page should have landed. And sure enough, here it is. There's that home page starter. So go to your pages tool once you've done the import. If you're not seeing all of the pages, click on the button that says All Pages, and you should see a list. In that list, look for Home Page Starter. Now you'll notice I had another page that was called Home Page in my uh, Pages tool here. That's an old home page that I'm not going to use anymore, and I'm, I'm going to end up naming this one to be Home Page. So the old one, I'm going to label with old. I'm going to go into my options here and say Edit and just say home page old. So that might be something that you want to do too if you're going to use this home page starter as your home page. Now we can open up the home page starter. This is indeed what we were just looking at and I'm ready to customize it now to be my home page. So I hit edit and I'm going to remove that starter so it just says home page at the top. And now I can fill in the pieces that I need to customize for my course. So I'm going to say, welcome to Instructional Design 101. Thank you for being here. I can add to that thank you for being here blurb if I want. Course syllabus, I want this to link to my actual course syllabus. So I highlight that text in order to make that be my hyperlink. And I come over to my content selector pane and under files, I might have already uploaded my syllabus file. If I have, then I can find it in this list. If I haven't, then I'm going to upload a new file, go and choose a file, and find my syllabus file that I want to upload. There it is. Hit open and hit upload. While I do that, this should turn yellow, indicating that that's now a hyperlink to that syllabus. Okay, scrolling down, this section should be okay. I don't think any changes are necessary there. Here's where I can add my instructor information, my email, etc., 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 bio. Once I'm ready to add a picture, 
I can remove the placeholder picture that's here. So I highlight it in order to select it and I hit delete. I keep my cursor where it is and I'm going to, in the same content selector pane over on the right side, select the images tab. Now I might have an image already uploaded to my course, in which case I can find it here. Otherwise I'm uploading a new image, choosing a file, and I'm going to go out and grab my image file. Okay, there's my image. I'm going to hit open. I have to give it some alternative text. So this is the text that gets read to my students who are using screen readers to access that content. So I write my name, since it's a picture of me, and I'm going to hit upload. That image should get inserted where my cursor was, which was at the bottom of my screen. I can click on that and resize that to be exactly how I want it to be. Just do a quick double check, make sure that I've made the changes that I want to. I want to add something else here. So it's good to make it super clear especially in an online class, exactly where students are starting the course. So please begin by reading our course syllabus. And then get started in the orientation module. So they're going to be instructed to read the course syllabus and then I can take them exactly to that orientation module page that I had them Originally, I had at the top of my modules list, right? So I have that list, I have that text highlighted. I've added an image, I've added a file. This time we're adding a link. Click over to that links tab, and this allows me to add a link to anything in my course. Right now, it's a module, but it's actually a specific page inside of a module. And the name of that page was the orientation overview. So I'm going to click on that, it highlights this yellow indicating that it's created a hyperlink to that page in my module. So now I've got a nice visual welcome with links to the syllabus, to the orientation module, quick links, and information about me. I'm feeling good about that home page. I'm going to hit save. All right, when I go to view all pages, I see that I've now got my home page that I've been editing and working on. I have to set this to be my front page, okay? So it has to be published in order to set it as my front page, which it is. It's already got the green check mark. Now I'm going to say use as front page, which gives me that little green label that it's been set as my front page. I go home. I'm still not using that front page as my home page though. So I come over here to choose home page and that's where I can select the page's front page and hit save. Voila! That is how to import that home page starter page into your course and customize it for you and your students. Thanks for watching.